guys, so I thought I would just go ahead and, and show you guys um, my cornering tools that I use. I had always thought that I would never um, want to bevel the edges or anything because I didn't want them to look like store-bought soaps because the purpose was my look is rustic kind of, so I wanted it to have that earthy rustic look. Um, and I felt like the sharp edges were like that, but I started noticing on bars that I got from friends that were beveled that they were more comfortable in the hand. And although, even though it's just a couple of times you wash your hands or your body or whatever, the sharp edges come off of the other bars, it just feels better in the hand to start off with. So I was lucky that one of my online buddies sent me these, they're called cornering tools. And you can just Google it online and like a hardware, online hardware company sells them, and it's for woodworking, and it's a cornering tool, and it comes with um, two in a set, and they're a different size on each end, and um, I usually use myself either the quarter inch or the three sixteenths, and whatever's left over, I save it, and I either use the shavings for faux, um, apple skins or you know whatever I'm trying to use in my soap or I can ball them up and make them into little soap balls so it's really nothing's wasted and and then it feels better in the hand and it's not it's not flattening out the edges it's rounding them off more okay because I used to just use a potato peeler and I just thought that was it you know that was fine but let me just show you how if you have never done this before, how it works. So I'm going to use the 3 16th edge, and you just start from right there and just work over. And I just follow that little edge around. And see how it's like a nice, smooth, rounded edge? And it still has good corners. And if I have like a, a rough edge where the, the batter is stuck to the paper or something, I just can take the wider in, and it just rounds that off a little and it just gives it a nice finished look without it being too finished because I don't want it to be too finished because I want people to you know see that it's a handmade I mean obviously it is but I want it to have that rustic feel but I don't know I just feel like holding this in my hand is better than holding this in my hand um, it just feels more comfortable and so anyway I just thought I would show you my little cornering tool I will do a few more and just show you. And you can do soap that's been sitting on the shelf for a while. I've done it both ways. Like when I first got these tools, by the way, thank you, Linda, um, I went through and, and beveled or cornered rounded over the edges of every soap I had. You know, it was like when you get a new toy, you want to play with it, you know. So I went, and they were soaps that had been sitting on the shelf for, you know, four to six months. And they, they work just as well. So it's up to you of when you want to um, do it. As long as the soap is um, firm enough to handle, you know, it'll work. And, and what's really great is they're very inexpensive. They're only like $5 for the, for the set of the two tools. And, I mean, how can you beat that? I mean, that's, that's my kind of um, um, tool price range. <laughs> and, um, and they make great soaping gifts for your buddies. So, anyway, I just thought I would share that with you and just show you how the edges are rounded off and everything. And if you didn't know about those tools, I just thought I'd share it with you. Anyway, have a great evening. Good night.